Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a transition like this one in After Effects. The way this is gonna look all depends on your creativity with shape layers, but in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the exact one that you just saw. So to get started, right here I have my footage, it's 1920 by 1080 so I'm going to create a new composition using the HDTV 1080 preset and I'm gonna call it main and then I'm going to drop the footage into the composition. Right here is where the transition is going to occur. And before I start, I'm just going to trim the composition to the length of my footage. So the first thing that we need to do right now is we need to make a new shape layer. So we need to right click and click on new shape layer and we're gonna place it on top and then we're going to add a rectangle and the size of the first rectangle path is going to be 450. Then we're going to add a second rectangle and we're going to set its size to 650. So right now you can see the outlines of the two rectangles that we just created. Then we're going to add a fill and it doesn't matter which color it is. And the final step is adding merge paths. So we need to click right here and we need to set the mode to exclude intersections and right now only the parts of the second rectangle which are not intersected by the first one are going to get filled. And to show what I was talking about right here you can turn off constraint proportions, you can set this to 650 and this to 850, right now we no longer have a square. Um, then what you can also do is set this to be the same and right now we don't have a square at all. Or for example, I'm going to turn off both of these. You can add two ellipses and set the size of the first one to 400 and the size of the second one to 600. And right now we don't have a square or a rectangle, we have a circle. So the way this looks all depends um, on your creativity with shapes. So I'm going to delete these two paths. I'm going to turn on both of these again and I'm going to set them back to their original size. And right now the next step would be creating a new adjustment layer. And we need to place this adjustment layer underneath the shape layer. And right now click right here on toggle switches and modes until you see track mat and right now we're going to set the track mat of the adjustment layer to alpha mat. But what happens when I do that? Um, basically the only parts of the adjustment layer that are going to be visible are the ones that are underneath of this red fill. So to show what I'm talking about I'm going to apply the first effect that we're going to use. It's called tint. So I'm going to apply that to the adjustment layer and as you can see um, that makes our footage black and white and now when I click on alpha matte it's only black and white in these areas. The next effect that we're going to use is going to be called transform. We're going to apply that to the adjustment layer and right now we need to animate this. So move your playhead right here to this transition and then create a keyframe on amount to tint and with the adjustment layer selected press U that will show the keyframe. Now press page up one, two, three, four, five times and we're gonna set this value to zero and that creates a keyframe. So we've animated this from zero to 100 and then again press page down this time one, two, three, four, five times to move five frames forwards and set this back to zero. And right now we've animated this from 0 to 100 and then back to 0 and if I preview it this is what we've made so far. Now just a tip for this effect um, we're mapping the blacks to black and the whites to white but if you want to make this stand out a bit more you can grab the color picker on the blacks and use a part of your footage. So for example I could use this green right here to make this stand out even a bit more but it's all up to you. For this tutorial I'm just gonna use black. Now the next thing that we're going to animate is gonna be the scale on the transform effect. 
So with the playhead right here at this point, I'm gonna set a scale keyframe and I'm gonna set the value to maybe 150. I don't want to overdo this. Now with the adjustment layer selected, press U once again, and that will show all of these keyframes. So the gap between these two is five frames, but we wanna make the gap right here a bit bigger. So let's move back to this keyframe and then two more frames backwards by pressing page up two more times. And now let's set the value of the scale to 100. And then let's do the same thing right here at the end of the animation. Press page down two more times and set the scale back to 100. And now if I preview this, you're going to be able to see what we made. But this animation still looks a bit awkward. I want this transition right here, the scale effect, I want this to bounce. So I'm going to select these keyframes and I'm going to hit F9. Then with them selected, I'm going to open the graph editor and I'm going to right click and I'm gonna make sure that I'm editing the speed graph. So then I'm gonna click right here, I'm gonna grab these handles, I'm gonna drag them like this. And I'm gonna drag these right here really going to exaggerate this so that this animation starts off really slow and then it bounces right here and then it again goes really slow to the end of the animation. And right now the final thing that's left to do is set this at the first keyframe, then click on the adjustment layer, shift click on the shape layer to select both of them, press Control shift d to split this. Now you can delete this part. Um, then select the adjustment layer, press U to see the keyframes, go to the last keyframe of the animation, again select both of them by shift clicking on the shape layer, and then press Control shift d to split this and delete the rest of it. And right now we're done. I'm going to preview this to see what we made. And that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.